Draw My Life um, with me, Ro, or as you guys know from my channel, Ro's Animation. Um, so we're going to do it, so probably the last person, but whatever. So this is my story. Uh, I come from a medium-sized family. Uh, we're five, so I'm the middle child out of, well, boys. <laughs> Um, so basically, uh, since I was little, um, I seem to be quite flexible, and my mom was pretty, uh, impressed with that somehow. <laughs> so she thought that it would be, you know, a good idea to get me for gymnastics. But seeing as our small town is quite small, and we don't have a lot of things there. I mean, we literally don't have a lot of things. And by that, I mean, we didn't have a gym, so unfortunately we had to give up on that idea, which I would have liked, really, honestly. <laughs> that would have been really fun. So, yeah, we gave up on that and uh, tried to find something else that I was interested in, which just happened to be seeing my mom play music. And, yeah, so we tried, well, she tried to teach me guitar, but being left-handed, it didn't work. We tried accordion. Uh, it was a little too complicated. We tried the violin until we realized the violin was broken. So my mom had a brilliant idea of saying piano, and which just happened to be a nun teaching piano. And she was very old-fashioned and evil, and the devil itself hitting me every time I had mistakes. It was bad. <laughs> and it just so happens to be she was my music teacher in middle school, too. So yeah, I was not happy. <laughs> So when she thought I could sing, she told my mom that, you know, I agreed to sing for church, and I didn't. But to have my mom was so proud, I decided to do it anyways. And yeah, she was enjoying that. So, during every music class I had, I would ninja my way out and vow to not do music anymore. So other than that, uh, during school I was not popular at all. Uh, I was being picked on constantly for little and stupid things, like, well, being poor, didn't have a lot of money, and, well, I wasn't very good looking, and, anyways, it was just stupid, especially the Sailor Moon thing, that was ridiculous, but you know what, that is fine, I got over it, anyways, other than that, um, my grades weren't that good, I mean, <laughs> really not that good uh, so my mom said that you know we would put me in a program but it just so happens to be that program was where you put autistic kids and kids with ADD and they basically just give you the basics like one plus one so of course I didn't feel that smart at all so you know of course after that um, my grades definitely got better, but I mean, who wouldn't? Um, so my mom was pretty happy to see that my grades got way high super quick, but then when she looked at my stuff, she realized it was too easy, so of course she dropped me out of that course because it was not helping me, and my grades <laughs> back down, um, but that's fine. I mean, the only thing I was good at was drawing. Uh, everything that was with art, I was really good at. Um, so yeah, a lot of the kids, they finally started to pay attention to me, but that was just really to, uh, have fun with their project, which led me to, yeah. Anyways, after finally seeing who was who and whatnot, I could finally see who were my true friends, and I got quite a few good ones. And they really just it made me really happy, and I didn't feel so alone anymore. So, after that, um, graduated a little school. That was weird. I really don't think 8th grade should need a graduation. I mean, you're going back to school next time. Anyways, so I just stayed home and played video games while everyone was out, like, partying and dancing. I mean, it didn't seem fun to me. I just preferred to play video games. Um... And then, well, high school came. For someone that's allergic to cigarettes, it was pretty hard to get up that hill because there was a huge cloud of it. Um, but yeah, anyways, with the new school and everything, I was really 
determined to be someone different or at least more unshy. So I tried and processed basically to make the teacher laugh, and you're in. If someone shy like me, you could make anyone laugh with my silly stuff. Anyway, after that, I tried radio, but I was only good at the tech stuff, so that kind of failed. And then afterwards, well, I tried chess. It was fun, even if I kept losing. But that's okay. And then, well, I tried archery, and I was really good at it. But it seems that no matter what I tried, no one really cared or paid attention or noticed. So I decided to go back to something I was never to go which was music. But, I mean, this teacher was really awesome, and he was not there, so I was like, oh my gosh, you can totally teach me things. You know, until he just told me, oh, we're making a band. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> so I was too chicken to get out, so I just went back to what I was good at, and which was singing. So I had tons of solos, and other singers didn't, which led to jealousy and bullshit. So... After that, we have the final uh, band thing. <laughs> I have no stage presence, you know, so that was awkward for me. So I vowed again, again, to never go back until next year. My friend's mom, <laughs> she became the teacher, and she already picked out songs for me. I couldn't say no to her at all. So again, the same bullshit came back all over again. Except this time it was different. The class I had for five years decided to come in that class. Yeah. One of my friends, I told her that I liked him, and then straight after, she told all the people that hated me, and then, yeah, so he knew too. So after a few days, I was just like, you know what, just kill me now, right? And then, yeah, but I told myself, you know what, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell him, I'm going to tell him and, and ask him if he wants to go with me. But then he politely said no, and he had someone already to ask him, which, on that date, I noticed it was the same girl that I told, and yeah, that was not happy. So, after high school finished, I vowed to never go back to my hometown, because it sucked real bad. So, for college, I was more determined than anything to uh, have a better life. And when I stepped in that class, I tell you, I knew things were going to be good. <laughs> the people there are freaking amazing, and the aura and everything, it was just amazing. I was so happy. I mean, I was doing things I loved. I was drawing. I was, you know, learning the tablet, which was a bitch, until I now realize I can't live without it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, stop motion 3D models. I was just, it was awesome. And then I had the confidence of being who I want to be, so changed my hair, uh, cut it, you know, color it, you name it. I was happy to be who I was, and I liked it. And then it was the first time I graduated with a smile, <laughs> like, for real. Um, and then, well, during that uh, college years, I worked at Tunis for three years, and that uniform was way too tight for someone like me. But uh, they didn't care, <laughs> so whatever. And then, well, after graduation, I got hit by a car, and well, couldn't really stand anymore that long, so led me to have a sitting job at Teletech, which was being yelled at by angry Americans for me to fix their TV. So then I had an impression, and then I decided to switch jobs, which then, after that, I was a sales associate for a plus size store. And, well, even if I stayed there for half a year, I did not like it. I mean, some days I did, but sometimes I didn't. Anyways, I wasn't good at it. <laughs> I can't fail to save my life. So now I work as a receptionist for an optometrist, and I'm very happy. I love my job. I love helping people. It is just an amazing job. <laughs> I wouldn't, even if I went to school for college and animation, I work for doctor now, and that's okay. Oh, after that, well, even if I had an amazing job and awesome friends, I want to finally have a boy final boyfriend. So it's, it's kind of hard because, I mean, I don't go out to drink, I don't party, I mean, I stay here and play video games all day. So I decided internet was my solution. But after a while, I kind of 
give up on that until one day the <laughs> wink was received and one thing led to another and I am no longer single. It's been for about two months and a half, three ish. <laughs> Anyways, it's, I love it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm gonna be moving out next week. So, life is beginning and I'm ready for a lot of new adventures and trying new things. So, this is my life. And it's definitely not the end. <laughs>